Good evening, my dear friends. It's a pleasure to find you here in the tranquil Woofy village once again. Yet, I can't help but notice the weariness in your eyes. What has brought upon such exhaustion? Or perhaps, is it simply the gentle call of a restful sleep that you are heeding? Then, allow me to offer you a lullaby in the form of a story. Are you willing to lend an ear? This tale gently peels back a chapter in the life of a radiant young lady named Arlene Onandita, a brilliant beacon of Woofy High School. Nestled within her charming room in the quaint Kowoofian hamlet, she was in the midst of crafting something special. And then, as if by a whisper of fate, something unexpected unfolds. Once upon a time, in the village of Woofy, at seventeen, Arlene Onandita was a dreamer with a mind that danced among the stars. Her room was a sanctuary of books and gadgets, a testament to her love for writing and her idol Elon Musk. There was his poster, too. One Sunday morning, as Arlene sat at her desk, the soft hum of her laptop filled the room. She was crafting a story about Mars, about colonies and adventures beyond the Earth's atmosphere. But the words were stubborn today, refusing to flow as freely as they usually did. Arlene leaned back in her chair, her gaze drifting to the poster of Elon Musk on her wall. What would Elon do? She mused aloud. Suddenly, the air in the room shifted charged with an electric buzz that made her hair stand on end. And there, she heard the voice of Elon Musk himself, as though the poster had come to life and spoken to her. Good morning, Arlene. He said, his voice calm and reassuring. I hear you trying to write about Mars. Arlene blinked, her heart skipping a beat. Mr. Musk? Is this really happening? Elon chuckled. In your imagination anything is possible. Now tell me about your story, come on. Arlene shared her vision of a future where humanity thrived on Mars, of domed cities and terraforming projects. Elon listened intently, nodding along. Wow. It's... it's a beautiful dream, I say. You know what, Arlene? It is dreams like yours, that push us forward. But remember, even the grandest journey begins with a single step. Arlene's eyes sparkled with renewed vigor. So I should start small? Exactly. Focus on the characters, their lives, their dreams, then the science will follow. They talked for hours about space, technology, and the future. Elon's insights were like a key unlocking the ideas that had been trapped in Arlene's mind. Then, Elon suddenly say, Well, it's time for me to go. But remember, Arlene, keep looking up. The stars are waiting for you. Wait, where are you going, Mr. Musk? Elon turned back, a mysterious smile on his face. To the Mars, of course. There's a lot of work to be done. And who knows, maybe one day, from Woofy Village, you'll join me there. And with that, he became a static poster again, leaving a trail of stardust in his wake. Arlene returned to her desk, her fingers flying over the keyboard. The story poured out of her, a tapestry of hope and ambition. She wrote of a girl who dared to dream of Mars, who grew up to see her dreams become reality. Few hours later, Arlene leaned back, her story complete. She knew that her encounter with Elon Musk might have been a figment of her imagination, but the inspiration he left behind was as real as the rising sun. And somewhere, out there among the stars, Mars beckoned, a red jewel in the sky, waiting for dreamers like Arlene to leave their mark. 
Arlene's story is a reminder that our dreams are the blueprints of our future. Whether we look to the stars or the depths of our own hearts, there's a universe of possibilities waiting to be explored. So, take a deep breath, relax, and let your imagination soar.